The RMV is taking action to correct some confusion over the new real IDs. The move comes after a Hopkinton woman reached out to the I team's call for action, complaining she left the registry with a new license and a new name. CBSN Boston's Brianna Pitts has a story. I'd like to go to Maui. Ellen Winner is getting close to retirement, and she and her husband are hoping to book a trip to Hawaii. I actually wouldn't mind going to Pearl Harbor. Knowing that beginning next fall, she won't be able to fly within the United States with her current license, she decided to go to the registry to apply for a real ID. The problem is he gave me a name of a person that doesn't exist. Here's what happened. The RMV requires a proof of lawful presence. For most, that means a current passport or a birth certificate. Because her passport was expired, the birth certificate was Ellen's only option. It reads Ellen Paula Stern. But when Ellen got married, she took her maiden name as her middle name, Ellen Stern Winner. But the registry refused to accept that name and issued her a license that reads Ellen Paula Winner. There's no Ellen Paula Winner. And he said, well, you're Ellen Paula Winner now. Tax documents she brought with her to the registry say Ellen S. Winner, as does her social security card. The federal government knows me as Ellen S. Winner. Commonwealth of Mass knows me as Ellen S. Winner. But he wants me to be Ellen Paula. When we contacted the RMV, a spokesperson told us the social security card is acceptable for proof of name. But when we called the RMV licensing division, the person on the phone told us it wasn't. The whole thing is ridiculous. After a month of phone calls and emails, we heard back from the RMV saying they would issue Ellen a new license that says Ellen Stern Winner. A spokesperson wrote, the RMV will be providing information to team members on how to handle these types of exception cases in the future. I think what the registry did was wrong. My name has never been Ellen Paula Winner. How dare they change my name willy-nilly. We have to give some credit to Ellen. She refused to take no for an answer. And a reminder, the deadline is next October. You'll need a real ID or a passport to fly within the United States. Brianna Pitts, CBSN Boston.